A first in Southeast Asia, utilities provider SP Group is now rolling out a one-year trial that looks at drawing energy from electric car batteries to stabilize the power grid. Now, this could mitigate problems like intermittency as Singapore moves towards renewable sources like solar power. Electric car users will benefit as they'll be paid for this. Concept of vehicle to grid is that when the electricity grid needs uh, additional energy, uh, they can you t they can tap on this uh, extra storage that's available in in the fleet of vehicles that are being parked. You could sell back some of that electricity back to the grid and therefore make some money uh, while the vehicle is just being parked there. SP Group is installing four vehicle to grid charging points to find out how viable this is. The country is expected to have about 600,000 electric vehicles by the year 2040, which could serve as energy sources. But experts say that there could be concerns of battery degradation over time, and not all EV models are compatible at the moment. Some also say that it's more suitable for commercial fleets such as electric buses, as their usage patterns are more predictable. They add that the concept may not be as effective if Singapore goes ahead with plans to focus on installing overnight charges, as excess energy won't be needed in the wee hours. Where are the charges located? If it's residential charges versus workplace charging, I think that makes a difference also because if, it, if the vehicle is parked at the workplace and which allows for the, the return of electricity, then that might make it more more viable and interesting, right? So that during the peak hours when many people are awake about, you know, consuming electricity, uh, the, that, that's when the, 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 the batteries can, can serve their, their purpose. Yeah. 